Gemini journalist fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy Sunday evening to join me here as I continue to read and share the works of myself and other authors. Today is our second Poetry Memoir Day and I just want to thank you all again for joining us with joining me here today. If it is your very first time with us, welcome, 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 welcome. Ensure that you hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell bell on because you don't want to miss out on all the good stuff that will be coming your way. Today we are down to the second read from the Memoir That Makes You Go Mmm. And this is indeed a read from Jane Turnquest. She is also a self-published author, Bahamian self-published author located on Amazon. I will include her links down below in the description. You can definitely check it out. Reach out to Jane. Get yourselves personalized autographed novels and also check out her different works as well. She has a wide set out of books for um, kids and adults. So definitely you can go ahead and check out her work on Amazon or reach out to her through Facebook. So without much delay, we are down to read number two. Um, and if you are not aware, every Sunday we will indeed be doing poetry reading and memoirs. So as I would have said, we're currently featuring Jane's book here. And I do have a lineup of other poetry readers that I have to share here. So if you are indeed a short writer of poetry, memoirs, whatever it is, and you want to have it shared here, you can definitely reach out to me through any of my social media platforms that you're comfortable with down below in the description. And we'll definitely talk from there. So without delay, let's dive right into it. The memoir that makes you go... Mm. A second read from Jane Turnquest. Mademoiselle, I'm Mackenzie Morgan Musgrave. I like mentioning my full name. The modern day maiden maintain that I am the true monarch and monitor of M things. I have what most would make out to be a mini mania. My mind and manners are merely always on M mode. It is not a real madness or malady I maintain, as it is the only odd matter about me besides having a mysterious Mediterranean anemia malady that may have my millennium reduced most times, having me not use usually feeling sick. But looking sickly pale and most times being marcid exhausted my mediterranean anemia malady is mild it requires no medication or monitoring and it is most likely to man materialize with monthly miserable menstruation i must mention that in the midst of the mix of my moods Many of the involved mouth watching midday meals. Moreover, there is something memorable for Madeline Rose. The most meaningful of the memoirs instruction is saved for last so that it can be maintained in memory. It is my med meditation, my maxim, the message being memory verses that I find moving and mighty. Here are my many moments. I hope it makes my life meaningful and maybe matchless. Alright guys, so definitely you need to stick around for this one. Of course, every Sunday we will be featuring on here, right here on my YouTube channel. We'll be sharing something from Jane's um the memoir that makes you go mm. so that that was read number two definitely you want to indeed stick around every sunday evening at 6 p.m a video will be shared here a short clipping will be shared here i have decided to use sunday because sunday is more like a you know more laid back day it's more a wine and dine type of relaxation the 6 p.m. is after everybody would have already had dinner. You've all settled down. So definitely that is why we would have chosen, I would have chosen to do 
the poetry readings for you and the memoir short readings for you on a Sunday. So while you keep back, you prop your legs up, you sip your wine, you chit chat, relax, whatever it is, you can just quickly listen to one of the reads from Jane or any other author that I will have featured here on a Sunday. So without taking up much of your time, I just want to thank you all for taking the time out to join me here on The Gemini Journalist as I continue to share the magical works of myself and other authors. You all have yourselves a wonderful rest of the Sunday. Have a great and productive week. Please stay safe. Remember to hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on if you have not yet done so. Remember to hit like if you enjoyed what you heard here today. And don't forget to hit share. Share with your friends, your family, whoever it is. Just share. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday once again. We'll see each other soon. Remember, Tuesday, 6 a.m., we do this all over again. See you soon. Thank you so much for tapping in.